Okay, so we're going to look at DNA notes today. We're basically looking at just the general shape and some information about the DNA molecule itself. So these are the notes you're going to want to pull out, find them in your green folder, and we'll fill them in now. Uh, anytime that you need to stop along the video to catch up with us, please feel free to pause it, write down what you need to write down, and we'll go from there. So DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Here is the DNA initials. And it starts out with deoxyribose, which is a five carbon sugar that makes up part of the DNA molecule. DNA, you know, is found in all cells. It is found particularly in the nucleus of the cell, so the center of the cell, and it is the genetic code of all living things. So what makes up a DNA molecule? We know the deoxyribose sugar, we just talked about that. It's a five carbon sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base or a nitrogen base. All three of these parts are called a nucleotide and they make up one component of the DNA molecule. There are four nitrogen bases, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. Adenine always pairs with thymine, so A pairs with T, and there are two hydrogen bonds that will hook them together, and guanine always pairs with cytosine, C pairs with G, always with three bonds between them. You're not really going to have to worry about these names, we'll never trick you on that, but you will have to know the letters A pairs with T, C pairs with G, two bonds, three bonds. This makes up the actual structure of DNA. We had some uh, models of them in class before you left. And the shape of this DNA is called a double helix. Think of it as a twisted ladder. So if you had a ladder and you turned it down the middle, you would still have the sides of the ladder. And the sides of the ladder are going to be made up of sugar and phosphate groups. So it would be sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, and so on. Notice please that the sugar molecule is bigger and the phosphate is smaller. And then you have a whole bunch of nitrogen bases, A's and T's and C's and G's, and you can see that they have little shapes on the end so they fit together like a puzzle piece. What we're gonna ask you to do here is actually kind of draw us a little strip of DNA. So this is just a small part of DNA. So we take the sides of the DNA molecule and it's a sugar, and a phosphate, and a sugar, and a phosphate, and a sugar, and a phosphate. And there will be one on each side. So again, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, and so on. And then you're going to take the nitrogen bases and put them across the middle the way that they match with each other. So attached to the sugars are where the nitrogen bases would go. So if I have an adenine A, it's going to pair with a thymine T. So they would fit together just like puzzle pieces. So take these pieces and draw or create a molecule of DNA. That's gonna be a really short one, but nonetheless, it will be a molecule of DNA. So what you have here would be a sugar, phosphate, and nitrogen base that makes up a nucleotide and then a sugar, a phosphate, and a nitrogen base, this would be a second nucleotide. So these nucleotides are going to pair together. Between A and T, we have two hydrogen bonds. Between Cs and Gs, we have three hydrogen bonds. So that is the basic structure of a DNA molecule. And then we are going to continue a little bit here. So in our continuation, DNA is the genetic code of all living things. We know that we get our DNA from our parents. Half came from your mom, half came from your dad, and it is found in all cells of all living things. It's made up of this nucleotide, also known as a nucleic acid, which is a sugar deoxyribose sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogen base. A and T, double bond between them, C and G, you might have to add a line there, a triple bond between them. It is the order of these bases that's gonna determine what DNA is coding for. Things like your skin, your hair, your eye color, your body build, your intelligence, your height, the enzymes in the body and their activity, uh, like why are you lactose intolerant? DNA will copy itself exactly before the cell goes through cell division. This is called semi-conservative replication. An old strand of DNA makes a new strand of DNA. 
This helps to prevent any mistakes that might be made. Another name for a mistake is called a mutation. Why does all of this happen is because DNA is too large to leave the nucleus because it is a double strand. It can't fit through the pores. Those are the tiny holes in the nucleus. So in order to get the message to the ribosome to make the protein that it is coding for, RNA must be made. The type of RNA that's going to be made is called messenger RNA, and we'll talk about that next time. Okay, so if you haven't gotten the notes down yet, please stop the video, fill in the notes as you need to, and we'll pick up with this later. Have a good day.